Want the epic stuff? The high stakes stuff? The never been done before stuff? The can't believe what you're seeing stuff? You know, the good stuff. AMC Plus has it all. Get the best from AMC, BBC America, IFC Films Unlimited, Sundance Now, and Shudder with AMC Plus. From the zombie apocalypse to the frigid Arctic to a criminal underworld and a stop motion animated metropolis, with AMC Plus, you can always expect the epic. Can't wait for the beginning of the end? Watch all new episodes of The Walking Dead one week early. Dive into the North Water. Jack O'Connell and Colin Farrell star in this thrilling and chilling, literally, AMC Plus original series. Set on an 1850s whaling ship in the Arctic, where the crew must survive the harshness of the environment and a murderous psychopath on board. Check out Joe Manganello in Arch Enemy, a gritty, comics-inspired crime thriller with a twist on the traditional superhero story. Crime, baby dolls, romance, car chases, pro wrestling, musical numbers, Ultra City Smiths has it all. Watch the new series starring Jimmy Simpson, Divine Joy Randolph, Kristen Bell, John C. Riley, and many more. Available ad free, on demand, and through the platforms you're already on. Expect the epic anytime, anywhere with AMC Plus. AMC Plus, only the good stuff. Sign up today at amcplus.com. That's amcplus.com. AMC Plus, only the good stuff. What is going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today I've got for you a crazy entitled parent story. To set the scene, Karen is inside a lift at a shop. Now someone with a broken leg, a nice innocent lady, tries to get in the lift with her, but she says no, you're not allowed. Entitled parent stops women on crutches getting in elevator. This is my first time posting a story like this, so bear with me. I've always wondered if I'd ever see something awful enough to post on here, and this happened a couple of weeks ago. So I, he, him, 20, was in Primark at the time, which is a well-known clothing outlet in the UK for people who can't afford to fork out on big clothing brands. I was wandering around the men's section on the second floor, where there is a busy escalator on one side of the shop and a lift on the other. As I got closer to the lifts, I heard raised voices and went over to look because I'm nosy. There was a white woman in her mid-twenties standing in the open lift. She had a child in a pram with her. Let's call her Karen. In the doorway of the lift was an older black woman, around 50 years old, who clearly had an issue with her leg and was using crutches and one of those boots they use for stuff like broken legs. Let's call her Jane. With Jane was a younger black man, maybe in his late 20s, but I'm not sure he said anything during the entire encounter. Now, I'm making race relevant because I'm not entirely sure that Karen's actions weren't entirely free of prejudice. So... Karen was in the lift with her pram angle to stop Jane getting in. Now, the lift is definitely big enough for more than three people and a pram. In a raised voice, she told Jane, I'm claustrophobic. I can't have anyone in the lift with me. Jane was asking if Karen would please just let her into the very big lift so she didn't have to wait for it to go and come back. But Karen wasn't having it and just kept repeating the I'm claustrophobic line over and over and told Jane to use the escalator instead. Jane gestured towards her leg and crutches and asked whether Karen did this in all lifts because there was no way she could get away with doing that every time someone got into a lift with her. When Jane started calling Karen out on this, Karen's story quickly changed too. With everything going on, I'm worried about getting COVID. She said this without having a mask on to a woman wearing a mask while stood in an extremely busy shop. By this point, it would have been quicker for them to go down and send the lift back up one at a time. Karen started shouting, How do I know you don't have COVID? And Jane just responded with a very calm, How do I know you don't have COVID? So Karen yells, How do I know your leg is actually broken? Weird turn, lady. Yes, weird indeed. What is that logic? By this point, there are around 10 people, including me, pretending to look through clothes racks whilst we all actually just stared at what was going on. It's rude to stare, I guess, so you have to be polite when watching the drama. Finally, about three different staff members appeared about five minutes after the commotion started and asked the woman to take two separate lift trips. They let Karen go down first because she was already in the lift. Shame. I heard Jane saying to Karen as she left and to the staff members, this is how it's going to be for a long time. She needs to get used to it. I imagine relating to COVID and sharing spaces again. I wish that something more was done, but people kick off so much around here that you kind of just want them to get what they want and leave ASAP. 
Everyone went back to their shopping after the woman split up But I remember making eye contact with a maybe 16 year old boy who was also watching and we just burst out laughing in the middle of the shop Yeah, not all that exciting, but I got a huge laugh out of it for a few days Yeah, not gonna lie guys I do kind of agree with op on this one that race probably was involved in some respect I mean first of all the fact that he's put it in the first place means that he definitely thinks it was involved and i'm inclined to agree with him Given he was there and secondly, did you see how karen was just going for every single excuse possible? One second it was the your legs not actually broken Realistically, none of those were the real excuse. We don't really know what it was But i'm inclined to believe that race unfortunately probably was one of the factors I mean that or she's just against disabled people it, it, Whatever it is, it's not great That's what i'm trying to get at you see and on that point that op makes it would have been quicker for them to just go separately But for jane, it's time for her to stand up for herself make a point saying look There is no reason you're not giving me any valid reason as to why I can't get in that lift with you You're in there with your pram me and my son I assume can just come in with you and yes It would have been faster to wait and just get a new one Maybe she should have done that but also she's standing up for herself I've got no problem with it and I think she did the right thing now moving on to our second story of today's episode And how about this for a title? Why wouldn't you donate your eggs to a good christian woman like me? I had the trashiest week and of course it had to get even worse I am a dermatology resident and around a week ago. I was working after hours at a cosmetic skin clinic We do cosmetic procedures like Botox and such. An entitled parent, a 48-year-old woman, enters and brings along her husband and teen daughter. One of the nurses approaches her and lets her know that only the one person who came to the appointment is allowed to come in. But she demands to bring both of them in with her because she is afraid of needles and she knows the owner of the skin clinic, so it should be all right. The nurse keeps trying to reason with her, but she dismisses it with a weird hand gesture and enters one of the consultations rooms the clinic only opens when we have a couple of patients booked due to covid so we are currently understaffed my co-worker and i look at each other and try to debate on who should go see her since in her booking she hasn't specified which doctor she previously consulted with after losing a game of rock paper scissors i dreadfully start getting masked to enter the room As I enter the room, the entitled parent and her husband are in a heated fight on whether or not her lips are too big and the teenager is texting on her phone. I subtly clear my throat. The woman finally shuts the F up and with her Karen voice says, you're not Dr. So-and-so. I only trust Dr. So-and-so to touch my face. I take a deep breath and say, Mrs. EP, when you book the appointment, you have to mention which doctor you prefer to have since they only come in if they have patients lined up on that day. She looks at me like, and then insert weird emoji there. After some back and forth of her demanding I call the owner and me letting her know I can reschedule her appointment for a later date with the doctor she prefers to have, she calms down and agrees to let me pump her face with more filler and Botox. We make casual conversation and the teen asks, why did you choose to become a skin doctor? To be honest, the answer actually is peer pressure and money, but I went ahead and explained that both my parents are doctors and growing up, they'd always push my siblings and I to become doctors too. Then I decided to get a low stress job that gave me freedom outside of work and dermatology seemed to be the best option. Now she seemed very interested and we kept chatting while her mother closely examined her face to check if she was content looking like a Walmart Kardashian or not. All of a sudden, the husband starts to ask more questions about my family, where they work, and if any of them were sick, which seems so odd. So I just said no and continued talking to the daughter. The entitled parents and husband start to whisper to each other while casually glancing at me as I wash my hands and get ready with the other procedure she came in for. The entitled mum starts asking very odd and personal questions, which I dismissively answer with a word or two because at this point I was getting very uncomfortable. And here it comes. Nothing in my life mentally prepared me for this. Mrs. EP says her sister had an ovarian teratoma and had to get it laparoscopically removed. She'd always dreamed of having kids and was wondering if I could donate my eggs. 
I was shocked to say the least because I never imagined that a complete stranger would ask me for something like this I told her I was sorry for her sister and that there were places where she can review a bunch of egg donors So she can carefully review and decide what kind of egg donor she most likely wanted to use She reassures me saying that her sister would for sure like me and since i'm from a family of doctors I have no diseases in my family and have great thick hair She says as she grabs my hair so she knows the child will be both smart and healthy I tell her i'm not interested in the offer and that i'm sure she could easily find a donor with even better qualities But she insisted I take her number and consider donating to a poor christian woman who loves children as much as she loves god I take the number so she just stopped talking about it and finally exit the room and the nurses take over I immediately just throw the number away though and try to forget about this strange incident Right then yesterday I get scheduled for a consultation with a woman called megan who's not a previous patient of mine But has specifically requested for me Which is odd since I hardly get any specific requests from patients to have me since i'm still a resident Nevertheless, I go in for the consultation and to my horror the same entitled parent and soon-to-be entitled parent megan approach me with a high-pitched Hi, doctor. How nice to see you again Now this is when I knew I was going to have a nightmare consultation scheduled that I couldn't run away from Megan is a 37 year old woman who claims to be a god-fearing housewife with a dream to mother a child And that her sister had filled her in on all details and even stalked me on facebook finding my parents and sisters too before she keeps rambling on i let her know that i have already told the woman that i am not interested in donating my ex and i ask her what she wanted to get done to her skin instead she acts confused and tells me but you would be doing a good deed by donating an egg to a woman who had ovaries ripped away from her body and reminds me that as a doctor and a christian myself as she found out through my dad's facebook page i should be following the word of god and help her out look i've got nothing against donating eggs or sperm i actually think it's honorable to help someone in need to have a kid but i don't want children i don't know these women and i'm not going through the whole procedure of extracting an egg for someone i hardly even know also i don't want a child of mine out there in the world i don't know it just doesn't sit right with me i let her know i have no desire to donate my eggs and suggest her a clinic that handles issues regarding infertility and such and ask her again what she came in for they both look at me perplexed they cannot believe a woman would not want to spread her legs go through a painful procedure to extract an egg that is to be donated to a complete stranger how can you say that aren't you a feminist Aren't you a doctor? Aren't you a Christian? Where are your morals? Miss Megan, I don't personally know you. This is a skin and cosmetic clinic. If you need a consultation for infertility, you should go to a fertility clinic, I say, as I start to stand up. Dr. OP, you're not acting like a good Christian woman would, the entitled parent says. And I just remind her that this is a place of business. And if she's not interested in a consultation for skin or cosmetic procedures, she can go ahead and leave. But she then starts yelling loudly, very unchristian words, letting me know that Satan will come for me because I've turned down God's will. I call my male nurse and he talks to her and lets her know she needs to leave the clinic immediately or police would be called. The entitled parent sisters leave as they curse me out. Isn't life great sometimes? After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret source is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, 
plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash redditor. That's mintmobile.com slash redditor. I mean, personally, I'm really excited to get started with Mint service. For me, it means more data for less money. That is a no-brainer. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash redditor. Sorry, but that is an absolutely disgusting thing to do. I mean, first of all, just randomly asking a stranger to donate their eggs is one thing. Stalking their dad's Facebook page and the rest of their families, that's another level. But then trying to guilt trip OP into donating eggs because of her religion or, you know, trying to bring religion into it and, and saying, oh, God will be ashamed of you. Satan's going to come for you now. That is a horrible, horrible thing to do. Look, who knows? Maybe OP isn't as religious as her dad or maybe, you know, she's not even Christian. But what if she is? What if saying these things is actually having an effect on OP and making her rethink the whole situation? You know, preying on someone's religion to try and make them donate eggs and have a kid that they don't want? Like, are you serious? That is unbelievable. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. Really hope you have enjoyed it. Honestly, that last story has made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I'm going to be honest. Um, if you do want more from me right away, please do check out a playlist of my videos right here on screen. If you're new to the channel, hit this button, subscribe. And if you want something a little bit sexy and saucy, click here as well. All right, see you all tomorrow with a brand new one.